You cannot be fired if you are self-employed. I've been self-employed for a good 16 years, and I could think of nothing better than working for yourself. But as the years went by having my own electrical contracting business, I, I got ripped off quite a few times, and I started to realize only 25% of the people that I dealt with were actually nice people. The rest of them want to screw you over, rip you off, and whatever. So anyway, I got involved with honeybees in 2013, my first colony of honeybees. I was successful and got them through one winter, and I decided to want to do that full time. When I was a boy... I was exposed to beekeeping at a young age, and I've always loved beekeeping, but I had to wait for my children to grow up so that I could dedicate my life to beekeeping. And you will find nobody in the United States that is more dedicated to beekeeping than I am. For instance, when you're self-employed, you have every day... And I do beekeeping stuff seven days a week. When I'm not earning money with my electrical business to, to pay for this stuff, I am building, increasing number of colonies. I have, currently have 154 colonies. So here's some frames I just built. And here are all the extra deeps that I have. There's like 60 of them in here. A lot of my colonies, I created 120 new colonies this year. A lot of them don't need a second deep, so therefore the second deep is stored. And here's my mediums right here. I don't know how many there are, 50 or so. So anyway, let me show you. I've downsized my hives because I realized I could not get all the hives that I have with a deep and a medium in this room because the small colonies I created this winter, most of them will not be large enough to winter outside all winter long. So I've downsized them. I've taken the, the medium away. See this right here? This is liquid gold. I have a lot of honey that I'm sitting on. Liquid gold. You know, back in the 90s, I thought Bill Clinton was a good president. And then I soon later realized... He's a good con man. He worked out a deal with Mexico and China to take away all of our jobs. Our politicians do nothing but take the jobs from Americans, allowing the rich to get even richer. And today is the day after Thanksgiving, and I just checked the stock market, and they can no longer prop up the stock market with the, the money the Federal Reserve is injecting. The stock market is crashing. So I feel sorry for you people that are actually employed at a business somewhere. The first thing a business does when they have money troubles is they downsize. I just saw a movie the other day. It's called Company Men's 10-year-old movie about a company that downsized. And most all the people that worked there got laid off or fired. So if you are self-employed, you know, you got to you got to have money to to invest in bees so you need a way to make money while you're growing your beekeeping business and if you're self-employed you can make money and you don't have to worry about getting fired or laid off so i've done that i created my electrical business i've made money to create all these all these hives are full of bees and they're all paid for i don't buy queens i don't buy packages i don't buy nukes i build as much stuff as i can everything's paid for it's liquid gold inside these hives. If I need, need money and I still have my electrical license, I go out and I do electrical jobs. But bees come first. If I have something to do with my bees, my bees come first and I do my bee stuff. And if I have time later, I'll go ahead and do the electrical job. I guess I'm lucky. you know. And I thought I had years ago, instead of borrowing money to build this house, I saved my money and lived in a house trailer. This house was built without borrowing money from a bank. And the vehicles in my garage, that's my newest vehicle. 2000 Chevy Silverado. And there's nothing wrong with it. I just had transmission rebuilt. It starts right up. 
Why the hell would I need to go out and buy a new truck $60,000 when I have this? And all you people that think you have to have the newest, latest, greatest vehicle, you're wasting your money and you're screwing yourself. This right here is a 94 Ford Ranger. No rust. I'm in Michigan. I spray oil underneath them every fall before winter. I can make these trucks last the rest of my life. When the engine goes, I rebuild the engine. When the transmission goes, I rebuild the transmission. I keep the body from rusting by spraying oil on it. So I'm not wasting money on vehicles. And there's a 78 Ford F-350 one ton that I paid $3,000 for that runs better than any other vehicle I've ever owned. It doesn't have computers in it. It has a carburetor. It works great. This is my B truck. I only use it a few times during the year. Okay, back to this. I work my ass all winter long trying to keep these colonies alive. I don't want to lose any colonies during the winter. See this one here? It looks small. If it gets any cold there, I'm going to be bringing them in. And for you subscribers that I have, you got to make sure you keep sugar in here. I just made some sugar today. If they run out of sugar and they're down here, they have no bridge. Some colonies build an actual bridge of wax comb up to the, the medium. They have no way to get more food. So you got to make sure the sugar is in there and it's thick from here to here with sugar so that they can go across from here to get up here. During the winter, the cluster sticks together and they move together like this. You don't see bees separating and walking up the sides inside the hive going up to there. They have to move together. And if there is nothing here for them to cling to to get up to here, if you're not feeding them sugar and you forget, they're going to starve. So that's why I check my colonies on a regular basis Make sure they have enough sugar, and I realized several of them would run out of sugar. I made more sugar today, and I'm going to feed them sugar. So, how much do you figure 154 colonies are worth? With the hive and the bees, $500, and they're all paid for? That's my net worth. I don't have any... Well, I have some cash in a bank, but there's no reason to have a lot of cash because cash is depreciating. It's basically worthless. Anytime I have extra money, I go out and I build more hive supers, hive bodies, frames, and whatnot. Okay? So, basically, be self-employed. Save your money. Don't waste it on new vehicles. You know, live frugally. Build your house yourself. If you can, if you have the ability, you pay somebody else to build it, it's going to cost you a lot. And if you go to a bank to borrow the money to build a house, it's going to cost you a way lot more than the house originally. So I'm sitting pretty good. Stock market's crashing, and I hope you guys can survive. America's not all that great. When you realize what our politicians have done to us, they've been fucking us for years. And they're giving us lubricant, keeping us going, but they're still fucking us. Okay? Thank you.